Hello fans, and welcome to the Kevin Pilot Show. I am live at the Flipping Egg, folks. The Flipping Egg is a brand new restaurant that just recently opened, and um, I gotta say, I like the food so far. I ordered the triple, and it's really good. You should try it. Come on down here on South Danville. Now, when we come back, I'll tell you more about the Viacom disagreement after this. Hello, fans, and welcome back to the Kevin Pollan Show. Now, as you just you just saw me in the flipping earlier talking about what was coming up. Now I want to talk to you about the good news. The good news is, and I'm glad I heard about this. Viacom got their channels back on Direct TV. Unfortunately, I can't say the same thing for um, Dish Network and AMC. So, unfortunately, I can't get that in. But I do want to talk to you about this one story that has nothing to do with a Viacom disagreement that it's just as shocking. I heard about this law in Kentucky where if you steal something or if you break into someone else's car instead of getting arrest you get a ticket I'm thinking why but when I found out it was because of a house bill that they're imposing on or that was signed into law in February of last year why didn't anybody know about this you know it's just something that I can't even begin to imagine taking place. So now I'm wondering, what is going to happen? And what can we do to stop this from taking place again? Now, there's a lot of things that even I can't begin to imagine how I'm carrying the Kevin Pollan show with just a cell phone camera instead of a webcam. It may not look as great, but it's better than nothing. You know, sometimes you just have to do things differently. Now, I want to talk to you about the um, Colorado shooting for a second there. Please be advised I'm recording with my cell phone, not my webcam. So if it doesn't come out perfect, please understand why. This Colorado shooting got me so angry when I first heard about it. And that was just as bad as one guy getting himself arrested for pretending to be the Joker. Only this was somewhere else. And to make matters worse, the company Pitney Bowes was about to fire this guy. And so he, in response to that, he decides to threaten him and decide to blow up the place. I'm glad they caught him. He had an arsenal of weapons, too. And there's another story I want to talk to you about today, and I saw this on abcnews.com. Some hotels, if not all of them, are going, no kids allowed. And this means even in the pool area. But some are willing to allow at least 10 years and up, and some are 18 or over. Why are we wasting our time with places like that? I mean, I understand some parents want to get away from their kids and all, but... What if the kids are on vacation with the parents? We just have to think things through and understand it to an extent. You know, there's not really much I can say about it except I'm sorry you had to hear about that kind of stuff. But at least it put an ending to part two of that special report that I just did on the Viacom disagreement.
This concludes the episode of the Kevin Pond Show. Have a nice day.